Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a market kind of situation to talk about in today's video because I think it might be time to sell a few cards because prices looking into this next week with footies on the horizon, I really think prices are going to start dropping once again like they did last week. So if you wanna be a little bit ahead of the curve, it might be better to sell sooner rather than later. That is, if you're still worried about coins in July on this game. We'll talk through all of that in this video. And of course, it's a Sunday. That means mini release day. Three more shapeshifters coming into packs today. We know who they are based off the leaks. We'll take a look at those. And of course, Sundays usually mean icon player pick day. We've had the 92 plus player pick now two weeks in a row. Hopefully, we either get it repeatable today, like unlimited times, or they give us a brand new moments player pick. We also need to talk about fodder because it is looking tasty once again, price-wise, especially on the low tier. The cheap stuff is looking really, really low, or the lower rated fodder. So I want to take a look at all of that and, of course, kind of cover the market. And actually, I didn't even talk about it in yesterday's video, but talk about literally my best pack pull. Uh, of the shapeshifters promo a 99 messy yes you guys have probably seen it but we'll talk about that a little bit as well and yeah if you're interested in the market at this stage of the game i mean it's definitely not wrong to be interested in the market at all because i know a lot of people coins are coins on this game and coins are king right if you don't have coins then you don't have the ability to interact and do SBCs and interact with the content basically, right? So it is very important to have coins at this stage of the game. If I could type out Di Natale here, I would look at his price. But I think that if you are still trying to have some fun in the end game on FIFA, paying attention to the market at least a little bit at this stage of the game is still pretty important because if you just drain your club dry and have nothing to no, no coins, nothing to do, I mean, there's still great content that's going to be coming out, like 85 times 10s. We are we are one week away from footies, which is going to release some of the best SBC content player wise that we will see, um, you know, all year long. It's just a great promo in that regard. So you got to have coins to do that, right? And if today's video helps you out by maybe saving you two, three hundred thousand coins by selling your team maybe a couple days early before prices continue to drop throughout the week. That's pretty crucial, I think. So we're going to talk a lot about that today. Let's get right into it. If you're enjoying the videos, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Let's look at some prices and talk about why I think it might be a time to sell some cards in this game. Well, you guys remember what we had happen last week, right? When we had the footies leaks, and I'm going to take a look at a graph here. We're going to take a look at El Shirawi's shapeshifters card graph. Last week, when we had the whole leaks and everything, El Shirawi went from 292,000 coins it was 200K, right? 290. He went all the way down to like 260 in the two or three day span when those leaks were happening. He probably even went lower. He bounced back a little bit because of course the leaks um, were, you know, no longer there. But now look where Elsha is. He went from 260 on Friday, even 230, but like two, 260 was his kind of price on Friday. He's now back to like 290,000 coins. That's really how a lot of the market looks right now. A lot of your out-of-pack special cards, Ramos, 1.5 mil, that is up. Marcelo is 3.7, that's down a little bit, right? But that is up from where he was. Even you look at a guy like Tots Neymar, who was down on Friday, like he went from 3.9 mil, 3.6 mil. We started having the footies leaks. He died all the way to 3.1 and he's now back up into the 3.2 million coin range. He was there like all day yesterday, 3.27. Friday, he went from 3.1 to 3.2. So a lot of the market has bounced back, not a ton, but just a little bit. And I think what this might be is just an opportunity where people are using cards in their teams. They're playing with items. They've got a lot of packs that they opened this last week and they're just focused on like the shapeshifters, the summer swaps and all this sort of stuff and playing the game with the new cards that they've gotten, I think it's a great opportunity to actually take the cash. And while the content in this game has not been that great, uh, when the content does become great, and when we have these footies leaks starting to happen later on this week, I mean, as early as tomorrow on Monday, we might get more information on footies, maybe at least Tuesday, Wednesday for sure. Wednesday, I would expect a loading screen for footies. They've been doing the loading screens recently, so I would expect to see that then. But I really think that just taking a look at what you have in your club and in your team right now, it might be a good idea to take, to take the cash on some of these cards, whether it's an out-of-packs shapeshifter card like the Ramos that we were just talking about and looking at. If you, if you remember kind of the cards that were hit the most in price last week, a lot of team of the season, a lot of shapeshifter cards really dropped in price because that's kind of where people are at right now with their teams, right? Those are the cards 
that people are kind of using the most. I even remember last week trading with like a Coutinho. Coutinho's fantasy foot card went from like 1.2 million coins all the way down to like 800K or something crazy like this. I don't even know where he's at right now, but these are cards that I would imagine he's back up to a mil, right? So he's he's risen over 100,000 coins from where he was. A lot of these cards are going to go back down later in the week. So if it saves you 20, 30,000 coins on a card and you're done with your weekend league and it doesn't matter to you that if, if you have the card in your club or not, if you want to run an tradable squad for the rest of this week, then I would say go for it because again, like I said, you might be like, Nate, why would I care about saving my coins at this stage of the game? It's July. I want to use the players that I want to use. I 100% get that, and I, I do agree with that, that you want to have fun. But uh, also, for some people, fun at this stage of the game is also doing a lot of SBCs. And if they are you know, losing two, three, four hundred thousand coins on their team in the next week, and you know, you're know you going to have less fun doing SBCs when you have less coins in two weeks when footies is going strong and you're like, man, I wish I had coins to do all these SBCs. So I know that's the first thing people are going to think about is, Nate, why do I care about the market at this stage? You know, I just think this is more of a heads up video. It's not a you have to sell right now. Prices might stay like this for you know today on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It really just depends on A, the leaks, because when the footies information starts rolling again, that's the key here for all of this stuff. When the footies tweets, when Foot Sheriff starts tweeting about footies and information about that, he's already sprinkled a few things here and there. But when it really becomes player leaks and more information, we already know that we're getting a vote for footies. And that might even come before Friday this next week. That's why I think with all that hype starting to build, I just feel like it's a decent time to take the cash on some of this stuff if you're worried about it. So that's the gist of you know me talking about price on this market right now. Prices are up, right? We take a look at a lot of things. Stuff has not gone back to where it was before all the footies panic, but it is back up a little bit. And I think it's just, it's a solid time to take the money. That's the, bo the bottom line. That's the moral of the story. So that's what we're looking at with the market right now. Let's talk about today on Sunday with content because yesterday on Saturday was, it was a pretty slow day. We had an objective player and we did have an SBC. So I wondered if it would be like no SBC day yesterday, but they actually did drop one. Ricardo Pereira, four star, four star, high, high, Portuguese left back in the Prem. A lot of people I think are looking at this card as a replacement for Joao Cancelo. He's only 100,000 coins to do. And as you would expect, Joao Cancelo's card yesterday did take a pretty massive hit in price from 320,000 coins all the way down to 214, which is where he resides right now, under 220K. And the reason why his price dropped is, again, a new card with basically the same links, just not Manchester City links. The Ricardo Perea, in my opinion, it doesn't have the five-star weak foot, and it's it's basically a carbon copy of this Cancelo card. They are very, very close in terms of the stats, in terms of how the card works. I believe they are both high-high. Um, unique body type for Perea, you know, and he's only 100,000 coins. He has one squad to do. I think a lot of people just said yesterday, hey, I'm going to go replace the Cancelo who I've been using for a couple weeks now. He's actually been out in the game for over a month, right? Still a great, a great card, insane item. But this Ricardo Perea provides a cheaper option that's untradeable that you don't have to worry about losing coins on. So obviously some people lost coins on Cancelo yesterday, but I think that Ricardo Perea was a nice SBC. But that was kind of all the content that we had. We did have the Iago, but people are not very happy about that one, the left forward card. So I don't know if there's any other shapeshifter player SBCs that are going to be dropped today on Sunday. We don't have any leaks. We usually haven't been getting player SBCs on Sundays, I believe, as well. They kind of shift things more towards like the icon player pick content and the mini release. And speaking of the mini release, we are expecting three new cards today. That'll be a part of content. The first one, I'll hide my camera here for a second is going to be Mr. Tim Cahill. That looks like a really insane card. I believe these are the official stats as well. Club 90 with his lowest stat being 90 passing. This card right here is going to be pretty nuts. He's the only hero shapeshifter we're getting today. We will also be getting the left wing David Silva and the right back from Leipzig, Haidara. Some interesting links there for like an Nkunku or something along those lines if you need any of those links still. That could be a nice Bundesliga right back. So those should be the three cards in the mini release that we have today. I would imagine Haidara, David Silva going to be very cheap. Uh, hopefully David Silva has five-star skills. And Cahill as well. I mean, I think he's going to be decently cheap. If you take a look at the rest of this team, 
I mean, your other, your Cordoba's 300, right? Joe Cole is 325. Dempsey is 84K. A lot of your hero shapeshifters from Team 3 were really cheap. Yunberg, Gomez, Morientes, they're up a little bit out of packs. That's another thing I would say is like these guys rising up out of packs. Sane going from 260 to 315. Morientes going up 10K. Gomez going up 15, 20K. Yunberg is up. Like that's the kind of stuff that I would take the coins on right now as well or in the next day or two before some of the, the hype for the new footies promo does come in and, and get involved. So, yeah, I, I just think that, you know, the mini release today is decent. Kale's card looks nice. He'll be the most expensive, but I think he'll end up being like two, 300K, maybe 400K because the mini release cards are always really rare. So that'll be a part of content today. Now, the other question is, what's going to happen with our Icon Player Pick SBC? And this is the second week. We have had the 92 plus moments player pick for two weeks in a row. Last week, we had it one time, non-repeatable. Now, this week, we've had it two times repeatable, same SBC. I believe it's been the same requirements. It's going away today. I feel like we have two options. EA could release it for a third time, and I kind of hope they do this. Um, I would love a better Icon Moments player pick at this time in the game. It is 92 plus. Icon Moments are behind the curve. A, EA needs to make this really cheap and make it repeatable unlimited times. It has been forever, just think about this for a second, it has been forever since we have had a repeatable Icon Moments player pick or any sort of Icon player pick that it does not have a, a certain number of times that you can repeat it, right? Two times to complete this SBC and then it goes away and you can't do it anymore. We need a repeatable Icon player pick that is truly repeatable. We're still going to get upgrade packs on Monday. We're still going to have fodder from all of the swaps packs that we're opening from Summer Swaps. EA Sports, people want a repeatable Icon Moments pack. It is also July. Let us have some fun. So I really hope that even though a 92 plus Moments pick seems behind the curve at this stage in the game, I really hope that they release this one today repeatable. I mean, you could make it a little bit cheaper, EA Sports. That'd be fantastic. Make it like 84, 85, 86, 87 or something like that instead of, you know, drop a rating on every single squad and we'll be happy with it. But um, I just think that they could go that route today, which I would like because we need a repeatable player pick, right? Or they could give us a brand new one. I don't know which brand new one they would give us. Um, the Icon Swaps player picks that we have had from the past couple of uh, seasons of Icon Swaps, you know, we've had a 94 plus player pick. We have had 92 plus attack slash mid player pick. We've had all of those different variations of player picks. I really hope they drop one of those at some point as well. That could be pretty cool. So we'll see if EA changed the pick today or if they keep it the same. That also makes us think about SBC fodder. Yes, as we usually, usually do on Sundays, we look at fodder and we say, wow, fodder is really low and it's probably a good time to buy. And that is exactly what we are saying once again here today. It is crazy to me, once again, that 84s are in the 3,000 coin range, especially with footies on the horizon. And last week, sorry, two weeks ago, these guys were 7K when the content was really good. Last week, they didn't really move that much, right? Um, all these guys in the low threes, like 3.5K for Wijnaldum, he went back up to four. This is a great price, like especially for the PSG links, League One links. Felipe is a center back. Savic is a center back. Guerrero is a left back. You know, all of your good linking fodder cards. Trippier is one of the cheapest 84s. That's atrocious. He's usually way more expensive than the cheapest 84, right? But all of this stuff is pretty low. It's kind of the lowest that it's been since early June when 84s were disgustingly cheap. And we are going to be entering a time of the summer FIFA cycle where content is plentiful and there are a lot of SBCs that are being released. If you look at fodder last year during footies, and I'm sure we're going to talk about this later on this week, fodder explodes during footies as it's kind of started to do in the past couple of weeks. I really think that the low tier on fodder is the best place to look though. 83s, 84s, 85s, even 86s, I would say. Remember two weeks ago, 86s were all 19K, right? Right here, 19, 20,000 coins. EA had to update their price ranges a couple weeks ago. And this is really preparation for footies, in my opinion. These 86s, all this stuff is going to go higher. So it takes a little bit of patience in here. But I, I think the highest point you saw on 86s earlier this year was 25,000 coins. I will almost guarantee you that in the next month, we are going to see 86s get up to that crazy high price range, doubling from this amount uh, in the next month because they're just going to release a lot of great content. It's the summer months. There's not going to be as much supply for some of these cards as well. 
it is a fantastic time to do a club stock or to make an investment, but you might have to be a little bit more patient, right? Because this stuff isn't all going to rise up insane like this week. It's probably going to take a few weeks. And if you want to do a quick short-term investment, I still think buying all this fodder, it could go up a little bit more this week. It could drop down next Friday a little bit more as well when footy starts. But for a good long-term investment, I really love the 84 is at three and a half thousand coins. The 85 at 6K is pretty banging because I think that in two, three, four weeks time, all this stuff is going to be higher as we get great content that comes out during footy. So whether it's an investment for like right now this week and you want to go do SBCs and you think they're going to drop some great SBCs, if we have any leaks uh, coming out soon about great shapeshifter cards, some of that fodder could go up this week. But even looking long term, I think it's a really good investment for what's to come with footies. And I think prices are low enough specifically on those little tier cards uh, that it could be a really good investment. Now, I would be a, I'd be really careful with the higher tier stuff. Of course, you're like, Nate, why you know, why would I not buy a card like a Harry Kane gold card who was 44K, now he's 38,000 coins, and we maybe will be getting an Icon Moments player pick today? I think that he would be, you know, uh, the higher tier cards I'm a little bit unsure about because we're going to be getting a lot of special cards re-released back into packs this next weekend for footies, and I think that's going to impact kind of your like 87 to 90 range because more of those either low tier tots cards, previous versions of informs that are upgraded one, two, three ratings above that player's base card. I think that's going to take some of your higher tier fodder and drop it lower. Man of the match cards, cards from earlier promos throughout the year. You guys know what they do during footies, right? They re-release these cards and a lot of them that are fodder say like a Adidas numbers up Matt's Hummels. If he were to get back into packs, right? That would be a perfect example of a high rated card that was fodder at one point they will absolutely return to fodder once again as a 90 rated card and will probably continue to push down and, and maybe help push down some of the prices uh of the higher tier fodder if it's getting supplied a lot so that's the one thing that we'll look at later on this week and kind of just you know watch that but the low tier i think is the best short-term investment and i like the prices in that low tier range the best right now on this game. So that's kind of my thoughts around the SBC fodder at the moment. Speaking of like the marketing stuff, I kind of had a crazy trade. Um, yesterday, I bought Dina Talley. I don't even know. I have to check the screenshot. Uh, I took a screenshot when I bought this because I was like, all right, I'm seeing if I'm going to get a good deal here and try to flip it. I bought Dina Talley for, I don't even have the screenshot. I deleted it. Rip me. But I think I bought him for like 2.59 or 2. It was under 2.6 mil. And then Dina Talley is such a rare card. I knew that at some point yesterday he was going to spike up. I literally was not on the companion app for more than 20 minutes yesterday. I relisted my card two times and took a look at his price twice. And I saw him spike uh, to like 3.5 mil. So I just undercut at 3 million coins because I knew that I would be a little bit lucky to get a sale there. I got the sale. He's back down to 2.7. But that's why I love trading with some of these really, really rare brand new promo cards. Kyle Walker is another one. He goes between like 1.1 mil and 1.5 mil. He's done it twice now. He's back to 1.5. It's crazy how rare some of these really, really high tier shapeshifter cards are. So we did actually make some coins yesterday on a Dina Talley flip. Conte, who we looked at in last night's video, I'm glad I didn't buy him at like 4.9 mil because Conte ended up going all the way down to like 4.6. And then he was he's just kind of been chilling between 4.6 and, and 5 million coins. So if you flipped any of these really rare high tier cards, GG's, Joe Cole, I think is a favorite right now in this game. And I think I might have just missed a buy opportunity. He was 320,000 coins. Looks like he's bouncing back up. He was 340 yesterday, went to 370. Looks like he's probably going to go back up again. So, you know, it, one way to tell that this card is very popular is A, his price fluctuations on the market, and B, he's always near the top on the footbin most popular list. So if I was able to get myself a Joe Cole at like 325,000, 330,000 coins, I would really feel confident being able to sell him today on Sunday for like 370. I mean, look how rare this guy is. He'll be 370 in an hour, easy. So that's the kind of stuff you could be doing and trading with on this game if you want to, if you want to grind the market and try to make a few coins at this stage of the game. Completely up to you, of course. But, you know, these these cards move. Ooh, 339, CDM, position change. All right, if I'm thinking I can sell that at 370, then I'm absolutely going to take that price, list it up at 370. And you know what? Let's go 377 
and we'll list it overnight because I'm going to sleep here in like 15 minutes. So boom, we're going to list that up. That's a GG. Also, I do have some really exciting news to share because a lot of you guys already know this. And you're going to turn off the video because like, Nate, this is a huge flex. This is unbelievable. But really quick, I had, I can't even believe I didn't talk about this yesterday. I had one of the most insane pack pulls of the account uh, of the whole, of my whole entire fever career. I mean, the R9 is definitely the number one pack pull ever, and it's probably going to be very hard to, to defeat that. But 99 Messi, oh, we packed him, and ignore the stats, uh, first goal cut modes were not friendly to me on Friday. But uh, we packed 99 Messi, guys, and guess what? It's crazy to say this, but now I have th the best three versions of Messi I have packed in this game. I have packed the 99 rated Messi. I have packed the 98 rated team of the year Messi, who I absolutely freaking love. Messi finessies. You guys from the stream know the vibes. And then I packed a team of the season from one of the compensation tots packs like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. That was just out of nowhere. It's it's the dupe theory, guys. It really is. Um, I packed this Messi first. After I packed this Messi, I packed gold Messi like two times. And then I packed a 97, and now I packed a 99. It's ridiculous how crazy the dupe theory is. And I literally have no words at how ridiculous my pack luck has been this year. I'm just trying to enjoy it and not set my hopes too high for next year because there's no way I'm topping this year's pack luck next year with the R9, with the Messi, the Conte. Packing Marcelo last week, like, what? Like, that, you, you don't even know what to say, right? It's just crazy. So just had to update you guys that had not seen that. Uh, yeah, that was that was crazy, and I can't believe that I had the 99 Messi two years in a row. Last year, he was an SBC, of course, but 99 Messi pack pulled this year is ridiculous. So besides that point, I'm still saving some packs for footies. I'm hoping for good upgrade packs tomorrow and Monday, and I'll hit some of those, absolutely. I'm going to try to pack like Clint Dempsey and stuff like that, being from the USA and stuff. But today on Sunday, it's all about, hey, do we need to sell some of our cards? B, Icon Moments player pick. See, we got the mini with these, and we don't have any other leaks, so we'll, we'll stay tuned to Twitter and stuff like that. But as of right now, no new news from that right there. So if you did enjoy this video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below what you're feeling. Like, are you going to sell some of the cards from your team? Are you enjoying shapeshifters, or are you just ready for footies? And I feel like a lot of people are just, after they open their summer swaps packs, which were a lot of fun, people are just ready for footies. We're ready for EA Sports. Give us the pink cards. All right, we're ready. If you did enjoy the video as well, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Have a good Sunday, guys. Good luck with your weekend league games. And just enjoy the rest of the weekend before a new week starts. Again, it has been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Out.